Welcome back, guys, to another Divi Project update for September 21st, 2022. It is a Wednesday, my dudes. I hope you guys are having a great hump day wherever you are. And all right, let's go over the news and like what's happening with Divi. But first up, as the title said, Crime Alert. Uh, this is courtesy of The Voice, who always helps us out and keeps us safe in the online world. But he said, Crime Alert. Hi there, everyone. Divi doesn't do airdrops. So if you didn't know, Divi does not do airdrops. I so do not accept any. Don't lose your coins and tokens. Criminals are duping consumers into MetaMask or Trust Wallet at this time. It's from this app right here, the dapp-launchairdrops.com. So that's the domain and IP. There's IP number, but do not log in or visit this site. So yes, thank you, Voice, for keeping us protected as always. Always love it. But yep, con right there. That's where they get you. They steal your seed for it. They steal your password. They make you log in, and now your wallet is compromised. So stay safe out there, people. Thank you, Voice, for keeping us safe. Also in the news today, moving on past that, we have a new episode on the Divi Crypto Podcast. This is episode 172 with Stephen McGeary and Fabric Chang, the CEO of Quadra Data Network to discuss Web3 and identity. You can listen to it on Spotify or iTunes. I'll probably be listening to, listening to it on the plane ride over to Missouri today. So, woo. But yeah, give it a listen. It's always great to expand your knowledge on crypto, what's going on, what are these projects talking about. And yeah, it just helps keep you informed. Also, Divi Day coming up very, very soon. Uh, we asked all of you what your favorite aspects of Divi were, and this one's from BMT0011. Values the friendships he built. Cheers, Ben, and thank you for being a part of this amazing community. Only six days until Divi Day. The friendships I've made with some of the community members. And yes, so true. I, you guys have become my friends too, especially I guess hanging out on the Divi Community Fantasy Football League, chatting. You guys also helped me out with my channel a little bit, gave me a little feedback, and now we're here. So woo, thank you guys. And the friendships we made is awesome. So I'm looking forward to Divi Day in the next six days. And now let's go over some tweets from Nick Sapinero, our, our CEO of Divi Labs. <laughs> He has this tweet out there, fake gurus in solvent exchanges and scams. NFTs can run paid promos and socials, but self-custody wallets cannot. So how are we going to decipher this tweet? He has like a sink out there. Is this like, is this like the door to the toilet discussion he wants to talk about? I don't know. Let's see. Did anybody talk about this? I feel like I need to wash my hands after seeing this. <laughs> uh, will that you run a paid article about non-custody wallets featuring Divi Wallet? Well, nobody wants to, but yeah. <laughs> So, yeah, I think people are trying to decipher, but it's like they were just saying Nick being Nick. <laughs> also, she, Nick's been on Twitter for 10 years. <laughs> Congrats, Nick, for that. <laughs> Very funny. But, yeah, I think I've only been on here for like two years. I think that's like when I started my crypto journey, so going on three. But, yeah, I know time flies by so fast. <laughs> And then let's see, Nick answering some questions on the Discord channel. Uh, he's asking, he's responding to BT Casso, who was talking about e Divi and what uh, Marwan Osmarli, I keep messing up his name, but who was at the speaker event, like what he was specifically talking about, like how does Divi Wallet connect? Uh, Nick said, we work with Marwan directly. The presentation he gave was more specific to how the advent of digital wallets enable sovereign ownership of finances. This was during a metaverse conference, however, and he, of course, discussed how the wallet will be necessary for interaction with Web3. We will enable Divi Wallet through Wallet Connect eventually, and we will have a variety of Web3 features in the upcoming updates. So, ooh, very exciting there. <laughs> oh, so that, that's what we look forward to, just more updates to the wallet. Like, the wallet's not done but nick and the team are still going to be building on top of this and making cool connections out there with everyone else so oof, keep up the great work nick and team and also someone was commenting on this wasn't we meant to have a telecom deal like this nick was like still do so that's still in the works but he was referring that guy's referring to like a uh, all coin delis and like t-mobiles like deal thing are going on but again depends on like how long the project's been we don't know yet Telecom deal has been in the works. We don't know how long that one's been in the works for. But again, just got to be patient because it's still in the process. And who cannot wait till that news finally gets officially released. <laughs> and I believe that was about it over here on the Divi channel. If you haven't watched that yesterday's video, I have a link as well to that or next article in forecast how Dubai could be the next hub of all things, not just crypto. But yeah. And let's see, do, 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 great, hopefully you can come to light soon. How do you know they haven't been working on that deal for a hot minute? Still talking about that telecom deal about T-Mobile. We don't know how long they were working on about on it. We know we got a little hint on our deal. <laughs> uh, 
Stoney was like, Nick Sap in the right place moves good for moving there. Because, yeah, the tweet, like, a lot of good news is coming out of Dubai right now. So Nick's move to Dubai is a smart one. Some deals there have to just be face-to-face and a good heart shake. So Nick is in the right position. And thank you so much for that. But that's about it on the Discord channel. And if you're ever curious what the CMO is up to, well, he deserves a little break, too. Like, he just did a great parley. We said I was here on the L Derby news, but I think right now he is in Dobr- Dobrovnik, Croatia. So awesome. I love seeing this. Croatia is a beautiful country. Last time I was there was in 2008 after my high school graduation. <laughs> and with my grandfather who grew up there, he met, I think, my grandma in Italy during the like war times of Croatia and something going on down there. But no, it's a very beautiful country. I stayed at Kamija and got to see Split. But yeah, so Croatia is amazing. So yeah, enjoy yourself, uh, Runix. I know you guys are going, you'll probably be at the next uh, El Clasico event going on too as well. So keep up the great work, guys. Keep those networking and connections going. And yeah, enjoy your time right now, Renuk. And lastly, from Ryan Berg. Hey, fam, I wanted to commend you all for the exciting post and positivity you've been sharing. You're helping the, to bring Divi to the eyes of more people. Keep up your amazing support. The Divi Project and Divi Wallet teams appreciate you. Go, Divi, go. That's right, people. Thank you so much. I've seen a lot more Divi tweets out there in the Twitterverse and everything, and, and it's helping get more eyes on Divi. So by you contributing that way, is awesome for the project. So thank you guys and keep it up because Divi's going to go, go, go. And yeah, so that's about it. Uh, price of Divi right now is at 0.021 cents, down 7.86 since yesterday. Market cap's at 67.4 million dollars. Trading volume's at 200. Our market cap rank is 303. And then here is the day chart of that incline down from that 7%. So we're still above the two cents, which is still nice. Where we go below it, I don't know, but uh, let's keep this good news coming. Can't wait to hear more about the Divi project, and that would definitely affect the price. So. Once all these partnerships with Dubai like, really get released, Divi is going to boom. Ooh, and then the uh, masternode numbers is up today. We are at 2,077 node masternodes. Awesome job, guys. Securing the network. Mm-hmm. And if you haven't downloaded the official regional crypto wallet of the Liga, which is Divi, you can go get it at DiviWallet.com. There's a link to the Apple Store or Google Play for you. But that is going to be it. I will see you guys in Missouri because that will be the next time I'm posting a video. <laughs> so thank you guys for watching. And don't forget to hit that thumbs up on your way out. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And until next time, the Crypto Sherpa is out.